Falcon 9 is in startup. We've heard that startup call out, and we're now waiting for that final go for launch call out from our launch director. Falcon 9, Starlink, LDs, go for launch. We're ready to go. Falcon 9's ready to go. All systems are go for launch. Now now let's listen into the terminal count seconds. and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 60 Starlink satellites into orbit on its 10th flight. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Let's go, Falcon for number ten. People is pitching down the Signal and chamber pressure is nominal. All right, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Falcon carrying Tower yet again country. another stack of 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Just moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure occurs right after we go supersonic. After this point, we're then able to Falcon throttle the engines back up. That call is just about 10 seconds away. Max Q. We've successfully crossed the Max Q threshold. We're throttling our Merlin engines back up. As, we're, as the atmosphere gets thinner and thinner, the stresses on the vehicle continue to diminish. And we're just about a minute away from three major events happening one after another. Main engine cutoff, known as MECO, stage separation, and second engine start one. To explain the first one, has begun. MECO, this is where all nine M1D engines shut off and they slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage step. And that's where, once again, the first stage and separate, second stage separate. Stage one makes its way back down to sea level for landing, and stage two continues its primary mission, along with the fact that the MVAC engine lights up and propels that second stage, along Falcon with the Starlink satellites is following orbit. a nominal trajectory. We're 30 seconds away from those events. Falcon 9 continues to be on nominal trajectory, our MVAC engine is starting to chill to prepare for that second engine start just about 20 seconds from now. Shortly after these three events, our fairing will deploy and expose the Starlink satellites to the vacuum of space. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. All good news so far. The nine Merlin engines have shut down. Our first and second stages are heading their separate ways. And our MVAC engine has begun burning and will continue to do so for about the next six minutes. Fairing separation confirmed. We have confirmation, and you can see it there. The two fairing halves have jettisoned and are heading back down. As a reminder, this is the second flight for these fairing halves, and we'll be attempting to recover them once again via a wet recovery from the contracted recovery vessel, Sheila Bordelon. Everything is nominal so far. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories.
We're just about four minutes after liftoff. For those of you just joining us, we have a lot going on. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see our second stage and its MBAC engine is burning, carrying 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. And on the other hand, we have our first stage uh, beginning its 10th recovery attempt. Um, as stage two continues to burn, as you see here, stage one is actually going to execute two separate burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first of which is the entry burn. Just a little more than two minutes from now, three of those M1D engines will reignite. This helps slow the, the first stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere and reduces the loads on the vehicle. After that burn uh, starts, ends, and is confirmed successful, we get ready for our final burn, the landing burn. It's a single center engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship safely. And as a reminder, we can't stress it enough, tonight marks the 10th flight for this particular first stage. This is a record for our Falcon 9 rocket's life cycle. This particular booster first debuted on our Crew Demo 1 mission just over a year ago. Now, reusability is critical to what we do at SpaceX. This fact that we can reuse our first stages, it allows us to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the ultimate cost to space access. And although this is the 10th time for this rocket, we first reused the normal orbital class rocket on the SES-10 mission back in March of 2017. It just goes to show how far we've come since then. We're about a minute away from that entry burn beginning. That burn should last for about 20 seconds. Now we're about 30 seconds away from that first stage entry burn igniting. The center engine will ignite at first. Two more engines will ignite shortly after that. The Merlins on this first stage are optimized to operate at sea level, and they achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust apiece during ascent and descent. Just a few stage seconds away. Yes, has saved. A few seconds away from the entry burn. Stage one, entry burn startup. And you can see that plume is starting to expand as the other two engines spot begin to fire. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And there you go, the entry burn has successfully ended. And now we're just a little more than a minute and a half away from the Both final burn. Both continue to follow nominal trajectories. Now, for those of you who follow along with SpaceX, you know that the soot I see on a rocket indicates it's been flown before. Um, here's an explanation of how that soot forms and why that first stage is so dirty in this case. Uh, the rocket grade kerosene, RP-1, uh, that, Falcons, that powers Falcon 9 is carbon-based. And when you burn it, it creates soot. Uh, now, as we approach the landing site, like you saw just now, that long entry burn slows the vehicle down. And since we come in engines first, the booster flies through its own plume and exhaust, which Stage deposits soot on the rocket. And now if you watch the feed, like you saw just there, you saw that soot starting to fly up and stick to the lens. And we're only about 20 seconds away from that landing burn starting. And also during that time, our four landing legs will deploy um, while that single engine is firing to help us safely land on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing burn startup. See it there, our landing burn's begun. Hopefully we get Stage continuous coverage. Terminal guidance. And also our second engine will cut off shortly after this landing attempt. Stage one, landing leg deploy. We have continuous views right there. This looked great. Stage two FTS is saved. And there you have it. 
We have a confirmation of a successful 10th landing of this booster and the 83rd overall successful recovery of the Falcon 9 first stage. Very exciting. This booster gets to live again. In terms of the second stage, we're waiting for that second engine to cut off. That second engine has now cut off. Orbit insertion. And we have confirmation from the GNC team that we are now in a good parking orbit. Second stage is now going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. We'll leave you with two things. We're going to leave you with this animation showing you where you're at in this coast phase, along with some groovy space tunes. We'll see you back here around T plus 44 minutes for that second engine start to phase.